Yeah, yeah, we uh, just watched a little bit of the game, so we didn't have any of the game playing in, obviously, yet. But uh, watching them, they're a, they're a big, they're a big physical team. They're really good uh, up front. Like they're a good team, so we're excited for the challenge. You've had success against some pretty good backs, Walker at Michigan State mm-hmm. and Henderson a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's a he's a really good back. I mean, there's there's not very many bad backs in the Big Ten, so it's every week where it seems like we're going up against like fifth in the fifth in the nation and rushing, like whatever whatever the deal is. So we've we've gone up against really good backs this year, and we're just ready for another one. So he's a good back too. So. Luke, I know that you didn't play a ton uh, in 2019. I know a few other guys here, but you guys have. Um, I just think we know the uh, the system as a whole collective uh, group a lot better than what we did in 2019. Um, and so that just allows us to play faster. Um, when you're not like slow processing things, you can you can play football and you can really kind of loose. And I think that's what our defense has done a really good job this year of like all levels. We know the defense pretty well. And so we're just running around fast and getting to our spots. Outside of <clears throat> Uh, violence. I mean, you have to be extremely violent uh, in the Big Ten, and it starts with uh, defensive line and uh, linebackers. You just have to be extremely violent up front, and uh, and even if you're wrong in the in your call, like if you're violent, you're not going to be wrong. So I think that's the biggest like non uh, mental side that you have to that you have to do to be good to be a good rush defense. In a football sense, what does violence mean? What are we talking about? I mean, you just it it all is violence. Like you just have to strike blocks, tackle, uh, aggressive, and like that's uh, just what it all comes down to. You just have to win your one on ones, and then uh, just let the let the play go where it goes. You know. So. How are you seeing this week, uh, guys on the defensive side, whether it's coaches or players, um, step step up, uh, maybe help fill the void that was left last week by um, some of the offensive staff doing that well. Yeah, we uh, we talked about it as a position group uh you just have to like basically bring those guys up that lost their position coaches because all those guys like their position coach and stuff so it, i mean it's tough for everybody um especially uh guys that lost their position coach they have their gas or other coaches that are <clears throat> helpful help filling that void right now so you just have to kind of pick up those uh your teammates that are like kind of they're just kind of struggling right now with uh that loss so but uh, I think we've done a pretty good job of that so far and going forward. Did you see anything different from like, Coach Chin's uh, few teams last week? And, and, or Coach, Coach Boo, your guy, and just the way that they're acting around the team? Uh, I mean, not really. Um, I mean, it's all, it's, it's in the back of all of our minds, like kind of what happened and stuff, but you still have to do the job at hand. Like, there's not much, there's not much change on the defensive side of the ball in, in that aspect. Um, to finish out on a high note um, and pride. <clears throat> I mean, you, uh, we've been in so many close games this year. Like we're just so so tired of losing these close games that we just want to win one. Um, and these next two uh, games are going to be close, uh, Big Ten football, and uh, it's a great opportunity for us to finish out the season on a high note, uh, beating two, having a chance to beat two really good teams. So. Um, not much, um, it, they, cause they have, they have the next guy up mentality, just like us. Um, uh, we got to play through injuries like Jojo's down, like it does, nothing really changes. You just have to keep going, uh, and prepare like, um, you would if he was there. So what have you seen from like Gifford and whoever's going to kind of fill the Jojo role to finish it? Mm-hmm. No, Gifford, uh, he'll be, uh, I think he's in the, uh, number one nickel spot, but, uh, uh, he, he'll do a good job. Like he's uh, he, he works extremely hard. He knows his stuff, so he uh, he'll do really good and stuff. And whoever they uh, bring in, if they rotate guys, so uh, it'll, it'll be good. They'll do a really good job. Did you square off against Gifford? I did not. 
I did not. I trained with them a little bit, but I never never played them in high school. Extremely big. JoJo was uh, kind of the heart of that defense a little bit uh, of Oakley, and like um, definitely brought a big, uh, big playability uh, to the defense. So uh, I mean, those are pretty big shoes to fill uh, for uh, whoever plays that nickel spot. Probably Giff, uh, but uh, yeah, JoJo is uh, jo- JoJo's awesome. I love him. Uh, I'm pretty, uh, pretty bummed out that he couldn't fin- out, finish out the season. He is too. So, uh, but it, it is what it is. Like injuries happen. So. Uh, we just next man up uh, mentality. What, what kind of coach has he been? I assume he's uh, had some thoughts for you guys. Yeah, no, he's always he's always with us and stuff at practice. So uh, he always gives us good advice and stuff like that. So uh, it's always it's good to have him around these last two weeks before he goes on to the next step. Nothing. Never, I've never been there, so I'm excited to go uh, play in a fun atmosphere. So I'm, lo- I'm looking forward to it. Luke, what's the, what's the difference between uh, going up against a smaller running back and one that's 240 pounds like Alex is at Wisconsin? Um, I mean, you just, uh, you definitely have to tackle a little bit lower on those bigger guys because if you're uh, standing straight up, he's just gonna. Uh, lower his head, knock you over. Um, so you have to bring your uh, definitely bring your feet um, on the bigger guys, and just uh, make sure your pad level is uh, lower than his, or else you're just going to lose the lose the one on one on the tackle.